everyone. Hope you're having an awesome Tuesday so far and a great week and um, kind of getting back into the swing of things after Thanksgiving and just having an awesome week. Um, as we know from Think and Grow Rich, something amazing and magical is going to happen today. So hope that already happened for you and hope you're ready for that. I am live streaming every day this week because I am talking about a topic that I am really digging right now, really passionate about, always digging, I guess, but especially right this moment, which is business and your beliefs. So today we're talking about stretching your beliefs around success. And yesterday we talked about how creating beliefs takes both the internal work and the mindset work and also the action. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today, too, when we're talking about stretching our beliefs around success. So one of the first things that I want to say about this is that we all have inherent beliefs about what success is available to us, what is possible for us, and also what is comfortable, meaning what level of success am I used to experiencing up to this point and what feels comfortable and what stretches that zone, right? So you're kind of coming into your business with that foundational level of like, this is the success I'm comfortable with. And I'd also say that you could use that interchangeably with like abundance, right? Like this is the abundance I'm comfortable with. Hey, hey, Lindsay, I know you're gonna like this topic because we talk about this shit all the time. You're gonna have lots of comments, so keep them coming. Um, I'm happy you're here. So where was I? Oh, right, so we all come in with like this foundational belief system. So a lot of you know that part of my story in building my business is that I had success really quickly, right? My second month in business, I had a 20K month. It was amazing, but pretty crazy. And here's the thing. I came in with this foundational belief that that was totally possible for me for a few reasons. One, I was just really new to this industry and I was really, um, for lack of a better word, naive about it, right? I know you guys have heard me talk about this before, like I was very naive at the beginning of my business and in some ways that built my business because I didn't know that success was tough, right? (laughs) Um, And not that it has to be, but I think that's the point is that I really just saw a lot of people achieving great success. I hired a coach that had great success and I just believed that that was available and possible for me and so it showed up, right? It's not because I actually have this magic secret that I'm hiding from you guys and there's this really sneaky back way that I got all these clients at the beginning and I don't share it with anybody. It's none of that, right? I literally just believed it was possible and I showed up and took the action and it showed me that that was true, right? The other reason I had that foundational belief was because I came from a family of entrepreneurs and a lot of them had been very successful, right? So I had the belief that like as an entrepreneur, you can be very successful. So that's another reason that it was easy for me initially to make money as an entrepreneur. I had also built a business before this one that was successful. So a lot of things played into the fact that I had a belief that it was possible and so my business took off very quickly, right? Hey Sarah, I'm happy to have you. So I really want you to think about that like when you're watching people that take off really quickly and you're like, what happened there? Like, what do they know that I don't know? It's more like, what do they believe that I don't believe, right? Do they believe success is super possible for them? If they do, that's probably a huge part of it, right? So I really want you to think about like, what is my foundational comfort level with success? And is that kind of what's being mirrored to me right now? Um, This is something I work on with a lot of my clients when they start creating that success, right? It's just slowly stretching their success comfort zone. What I see a lot of people do wrong, I hate calling anything wrong, but what I see a lot of people do that leaves them stuck on this is they will try to stretch their success comfort zone way, way, way far right away, right? So my success comfort zone did allow me to make 20K my second month in business. And that was, you know, it being stretched, but it was there, right? Your success comfort zone might look like 1K or it might look like 12. It doesn't really matter. 
but it's about honoring and acknowledging where your belief system around that lies. And then also what happens is the more we expand that success comfort zone, the more our beliefs grow with it, right? So I, you know, had expanded it and I believed that 20K months were possible. And so of course my business has grown with that, right? Now, if you only believe that success at the tune of a couple clients or 1K or whatever is available to you, then it's gonna be really hard to go from that to 20K, right? It just is. Your belief system needs to stretch with that. It's like a muscle, right? Like I'm not gonna go from having no muscles to huge muscles in a couple days, right? Neither are your beliefs. They're not gonna go from success at 1K feels comfortable to success at 20K feels comfortable overnight. And then what a lot of people take that to mean is see, success wasn't meant for me. I didn't make 20K my second month in business, right? I'm not making 10K months yet. See, I knew it, success wasn't meant for me. And you let it reinforce that negative belief instead of saying, oh, interesting. This seems to be where I'm comfortable right now. How do I stretch that a little? If I made 3K this month, do I maybe wanna try for four next month? Like what is the stretch that can happen? And how can you be available to meet that and show up for that? I think a lot of people are in two camps um, in this industry. And what I mean by that is it's either the camp where success takes a super long time and is really hard and is not for everyone and is like this elusive thing, or the camp where success is super easy and you should be able to create it in a couple days. And if you can't make 100K in 30 days, there's something wrong with you or whatever, right? It's almost like these two very dramatic belief systems and really like we need to be somewhere in the middle, right? I need to be willing to stretch my belief system and let success show up for me as I stretch, no matter what that looks like for me, whether it looks like 20K or 2K, right? And I need to see that as exponential growth as it continues to stretch, right? Um, and I also want it to stretch slowly because here's what happens if all of a sudden I really, really try to work my way into believing that 20K months are possible and I get there and then I freak out and I hit this massive upper limit and I stop showing up and stop doing anything, then I just reinforce the belief that, see, that wasn't, that was like a one-time thing. That wasn't really possible for me, right? I have one client who um, that happened to. She went from, I think, like a 4K month 3K, some, somewhere around there, up to like 15 in the course of like a, a month time frame, And it freaked her out. She really shut down a little bit. And so it was like, okay, this doesn't mean that you can't have that level of success. It means you jumped really quickly and now your belief system needs to catch up with you a little. So what I really want you to look at is like, what is foundationally comfortable for you? It might not be a dollar amount, but a feeling of a certain level of success or a certain amount of money in your bank account, whatever the thing is, what is your comfort level of success? And then how can you start expanding that little by little? You don't need to make this huge quantum leap if your belief system isn't there with you. How can you start taking the action, right? And setting the intention to expand it with you. So how can you move to that next space, that next space, that next space, right? Um, I think, there is something to be said for being both sure of success and patient with it. And so what I mean by that is you're sure of success in that you know you are going to continue to show up, continue to expand your belief system, and continue to expand that belief bubble, right? Like you're going to keep pushing that belief comfort zone out. And also, you're willing to be patient while your beliefs catch up and that happens, right? I think this is the thing, right? If we decide, okay, I'm going to show up and make this business work and that looks like making 100K in 30 days and you try to expand it too fast, your beliefs don't match, you don't get it, and now you've reinforced that. In fact, that wasn't possible for you, right? So how can you both be certain of success and patiently willing to expand your beliefs along with it, right? So um, one of my clients recently, well, I guess it was like two months ago, three months ago, um, hit a 10K month for the first time. And she 
definitely recognized we had done a lot of work to expand her beliefs to make that possible. And then when she got there, she was like, I need to sit here for a minute because I need to let my beliefs catch up. And I'm willing to be patient for that. I'm willing to think about just sitting and making 10K a month for the next couple of months, and then I'm ready to expand from there. So it's not that you can't create success. It's that you really want to make sure that your beliefs are moving with you, right? It's like someone that loses weight very, very quickly. Their mind has a really hard time catching up with that, right? That's why a lot of people that lose weight very quickly still feel very um, unhappy in the mirror, and they still feel like they're really chubby or whatever because their belief system has not yet caught up with what has happened, right? So same with success. How can you let your belief system catch up as you create more and more and more success, right? Because that is what helps you keep it too, because you're affirming that belief system along the way. It is possible for me to be successful. It's possible for me to make 5K. Now it's possible for me to make 10K. Now I'm really comfortable making this amount, right? Some people can expand their belief systems very fast. Some people it takes a little bit longer, but it's always about expanding and then taking the action with it and then reinforcing that belief along the way, right? So what I really want you to think about today is what is my foundational comfort level with success? What would be an expansion around that that feels safe but like a stretch? And then how can I start leaning into that little by little? How can I start shifting my beliefs around that little by little, right? <laughs> hey, Carrie, yeah, I got the whole gang here, right? <laughs> um, so I would love for you guys to let me know if you have questions or comments around this. And then I would love to know, like, what do you want to expand your beliefs to? Like, what level of success do you want to expand them to? Not like ever, and I think this is a big thing too, like, just because you want to make a million dollars in your business, it doesn't mean you have to want to do that today, right? It doesn't mean you have to have a plan for doing that today. It means you have to expand your ability to accept and receive success a little bit by a little bit to get there, right? So what foundational beliefs do you have? How are you going to capitalize on those and expand on them? And then how are you going to take the action to show up and shift it along the way? I hope that was really helpful. Uh, I tend to freak myself out when trying to expand my beliefs. Aw, thank you, Kara. I love seeing you too. Sarah, tell me um, what you mean by that. Like, do you freak yourself out when you're just thinking about them? Like, you call bullshit on yourself and you're like, no, nah, that's not going to happen? Or do you mean like you create the success and then you freak out a little bit? Tell me what you mean by that because I think both things happen. I think that sometimes we create the success and then we have the freak out like my client that had the 15k month and then was like oh my god this is really massively uncomfortable right um and then sometimes i think even trying to feel into new beliefs feels weird and what i'll say about that is it's because it takes time right our subconscious doesn't filter for accuracy it filters for repetition right so sometimes it's just saying that living that experiencing that new belief for a little while for it to sink in. Like you mentioned, I create the success and freak out and think it was just a lucky good month. Totally, right? And really what you did was you expanded your success comfort zone and then you got out of your comfort zone and you got uncomfortable, right? And then you go revert back to the old belief, right? Like I'm gonna revert back to the belief that this was just lucky and I'm only available for this level of success, right? So I would say like the best thing there is just watch your thoughts very carefully around that. Like when you create that success, how are you not saying to yourself, see, I'm just lucky. How are you saying to yourself, yes, this and more please, right? <laughs> yes, this has expanded my success comfort zone and I am ready to stay here and then create more of that, right? So, so much of this is just about acknowledging what's happening, right? Putting a name to it, calling it out seeing it because what happens is like when we do that I'm just lucky thing it's just because we're on autopilot because that's what our beliefs are right so it's like how can you be really intentional about watching them calling them out and cultivating them um the other thing I'll say is that um you know having people around you that can help you with that too so like you might want to tell your fiance Sarah like hey it seems like when I hit this level of success I freak out a little like help me reinforce that it wasn't just a good luck streak, right? I remember when I had um, my big month and my second month of business, I was like, oh, wow, this 
feels really crazy. Can I keep this up? And I know I had people around me going, yeah, you can, you can, right? Because yes, we need to work on our own belief system, but it also really helps when other people are confirming that belief system for us, right? So I think, you know, again, it's back to that key of how can we be both patient for success and always willing to expand it, right? Um, I'll share with you guys that I started my business in July, yeah, the end of July of 2015. So I guess I've been in business for like a year and July, August, September, October, November, like a year and five months, right? And I'm going to cross the multiple six-figure mark at the end of this year, which is awesome. And I'm so excited about that. But here's the thing, like that was what my success expansion has looked like. And that is what has been comfortable for me, right? Um, That is what my success comfort zone has allowed me to expand into. I know some people that have expanded much more quickly than that. And I know some people that have taken much longer than that. But here's the thing. How can you acknowledge that that's part of your process along the way, right? How can you say like, Lacey doesn't have or know something special. That is the rate at which she is expanding her success comfort zone and then showing up and taking action that matches that, right? So if I want to reach my next level of success, how do I expand that comfort zone? And then how do I show up and take action for that? So not doing that thing to yourself where it's like, well, I will only be successful if I do it like she did, right? Like if I hit... 20k my second month and if I don't that must mean I'm doing something wrong or there's something wrong with me right nope all it means is that you were not yet at a place of belief that matched right that month so and also action right you got to take the action that matches the belief so if I believe that I can make a 20k month I can show up and take the action that supports that right so Think about that. Such a good idea. Thank you. You're welcome, Sarah. So think about that. Tell me if you're watching the replay or now if you have questions or where this is weird for you or where you get tripped up. And then also share with me what is the new success belief that you want to create. All right. Um, I'll also share one more thing because I think this is relevant here. And it's around pricing. So um, one of the things someone asked me yesterday, which I think was really such a good question and um, really fits in here, is she was asking me, well, if someone isn't comfortable charging, um, you know, premium prices yet or charging a lot, like, what should they do? Should they do some mindset work and feel into it? How should they show up? Like, what if pricing is a big thing for them? And I basically told her, like, I would say whatever their beliefs are at that they should be charging, like show up and charge that and sell it out. And then your beliefs will change with that, right? It's kind of like once you've had the 10K month, the elusive 10K month, right? Your beliefs shift with that. And then you're like, oh yeah, I can create this again. Okay, cool. So when you're not comfortable with price, if you can sell sell at a price that you feel comfortable at and just like grow your belief system, push that belief comfort zone of like, okay, cool. Like people are really willing to pay this. I am going to up it because now I'm seeing them get results and I'm seeing how excited people are to pay it. So it's the same thing with pricing as it is with success, right? Start where you're at and then slowly expand that. Don't try to go from zero to 60 and then actually confirm for yourself that in fact, you should have never raised your prices, right? I see people do that all the time. Like they go from like, you know, 1k package to like a 10k package and then they can't sell it and they freak out and they think something's wrong with them and it's like you just like really beat your belief system there and it just can't catch up with you yet right so same for pricing as it is for success price at the level you feel comfortable at and that supports your belief system sell those babies out and then keep expanding from there right It's not about like, well, then you don't have self-confidence if you're not willing to charge this crazy price or you don't have self-worth or anything like that, right? It's just like, where's your belief system at now? And then how do we expand it, right? For some people, um, uh, some of my clients are um, therapists that are transitioning into this space. And I totally get that, right? Having worked in that area myself and been one. And there's a discrepancy for sure between like what you're paid as a therapist and what you can be paid as a coach. But 
you don't need to come in and totally say, screw the therapy price. How do I get up to this like, you know, 12K premium package, right? Charge what you feel comfortable at and then slowly expand that comfort zone and your success will expand with it, right? So I would love to invite you to join me for the rest of the week. I'm going to be doing a live stream on beliefs um, every day for the rest of the week. You can definitely catch the one I did yesterday by typing in um, business and beliefs in the search bar in the group. And just share with me your comments below. I think this is a super interesting uh, topic and I love to hear what you're working on and what you're trying to expand. I hate that mentality. If you don't charge crazy prices, you don't value yourself. Yeah, so weird, right? And so not really in the same zone. Like my beliefs about myself are not the same as my beliefs about my pricing, right? So I have to look at my beliefs around my pricing specifically and expand those. I'm so glad you loved it, Barb. Thank you for joining me. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful night. I'm going to go to P.F. Chang's right now, and I'm so excited about it because Pad Thai is basically my favorite food ever. So hope you all are doing something fun tonight. That's my amazing and magical thing that's happening today is that I get to eat Pad Thai. And I hope you all have a beautiful night and share with me below what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.